Hi everyone, today I have for you a very pretty feminine card and it has a 3D dress on it. It's got several tiers to the dress and it's also made from a special template. So if you are intrigued by this, please stay tuned. Today I'll be using the Fit and Flare Paper Dresses template. Very fun looking template right here. Here are the images of the finished products. Then I'm also going to use the taffeta, the pink taffeta stickles, the azalea suede paper, roses and lace scrapbooking dazzles, and this comes with two large sheets of the silver and then one narrow of the pink um, lace borders. There's the back. And finally, the double-sided roses and lace paper pack. And here are all of the papers in this set. And we'll take a closer look at the end when I review the bundle. Alright, so with that, let's get started. First thing I want to show you is making the Fit and Flare paper dresses. So, all the instructions are included on the template, so if you ever get confused, keep referring to those. Um, and then here are all the designs of the dresses. There's the ruffled skirt, the long ruffled skirt, and the pleated skirt. So this is the ruffled skirt with the long ruffled skirt underneath. So that makes the two-tiered two skirt. Then we have the pleated skirt here and here. So this is just the pleated skirt and then there's a long pleated skirt, excuse me, so there's actually you can see there. there's actually two options when you use this shape. Um, so you get four different skirts. I'm going to do the uh, ruffled skirt, so I'm going to start with my this is my azalea suede paper and I'm going to go to the back of it and simply start following the instructions which are really simple. There's um, just trace your shapes that you want to use, uh, all the lines, cut them out, fold them, and glue them. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, just kind of piecing together what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do the two-tier ruffled skirt. So I'll go ahead and trace this on the back of my paper, these two shapes, and cut them out. Alright, so I decided to do the bottom layer from the azalea suede paper and the top layer from the roses and lace paper. And the instructions say on this top layer, it has the folding instructions, so it says valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold, and so on down the line. Or at the middle it says switches, so mountain fold, then valley, mountain, valley. Um, so just refer to the template for which way you want to fold your paper. But before folding, what I've done here is I've scored all those folding lines. So what that means is I've just taken my ruler against the line and then just drag the back of my craft knife against the ruler. And that just uh, kind of breaks the paper fiber so that that fold can be nice and sharp. Alright, so the valley fold is like a valley, goes down, the mountain folds like a mountain, goes up. So there we go, there's the first two. And we do that once again, valley fold, mountain fold. This is looking like a accordion so far, but now in the middle we switch. So you want to do a mountain fold first, then a valley fold, then a mountain fold, then a valley fold. So here's what it looks like from this angle. From the back angle, it kind of looks like a funny little skirt, and then on the t from the front angle, it looks the best. So that's how the folds go, and the suede paper's equally as simple. And the suede paper does fold nicely. Oops, I think I did that one backwards. Valley, then mountain. There we go. Valley, then mountain, then switch it up for the last couple panels here. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Now what you do is you simply 
stack these on top of each other and you get that tiered skirt look. You can even kind of intertwine them so that the folds are all kind of in each other. And you can you can put a couple of pieces of tape across here. You can glue underneath each fold. Different ways you could do that. I could probably um, take some tacky glue and just put a little dab in between here at the top. Um, and the other pieces I wanted to show you that I cut out are this is the ballerina top. There's that. And then I have the bow and the hanger. So the bow I did from the suede paper and the hanger. So I can hang my little dress on there or ballerina costume, whatever you want to do. You can put that on top, I could put that on the side, put that in the front. Um, and okay, so I'm gonna get, get back to my card now. All right, so here's what I've done so far. I've got my my five inch by six and a half inch blank card, and I've covered the front of it with this lace border paper with the tiny little floral pattern on it, really cute. And I've assembled my dress. Now this is a composition of a few pieces. One, two, three, four pieces. So I've glued together the skirt like I told you with just a little bit of liquid tacky glue between the folds and I've glued um, them so that they'll fold together nicely. And then the bow I just foam taped on top and this bodice I just glued right here. On the back I've placed foam tape ready to stick to my cart. Now the hanger is separate since that's going to be a more flatter piece it won't be pre-foam taped. So that's going to go on the dress like that on the card and I am looking at my dazzle sheet right now and I had the idea of doing a mirror effect and I have these adhesive mirror sheets from Hot Off The Press. They come in an 8-pack. Mine are used. Um, there's different colors. Here we go. Just a glance at all the different colors you have here. Um, but they are adhesive mirror sheets. And I bet if you even type in this product number into the Paper Wishes search bar, they would pop up. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is take this lovely oval dazzle and I'm going to back it with this lovely mirror sheet. But before I do, I'm going to color, color this, and this is a new technique, I haven't done this before. I'm going to try and put some stickles on my dazzles. So first thing I'm going to do is take some scissors and just cut out this frame. doesn't have to be exact, just so you don't cut anything off. Okay. And then I also want to cut out the inside, so I'm going to take my craft knife here, if I can find it, and this is the retractable one, really handy to have. And I'm just going to knock out the inside here. There we go. Love that thing. And this comes out. Alright, then I need a piece of scratch paper. Put behind that. And at this point I'm going to get a piece of wax paper ready because what I'm going to do is rub on the stickles 
Then I'm going to peel this off so that the stickles doesn't connect the innies to the outer design um, and put it on wax paper. Okay, so here's my wax paper. Here's my stickles. And I've also got a dry paintbrush. So what I'm going to do, and I also have this handy dandy plastic lid just to hold my stickles. What I'm going to do is just open this up and I'm going to squeeze a generous portion into this plastic lid. And if there is uh, something stopping your nozzle, you can either trim off a little bit of it or you can stick a pin in there or if you have one of those retractable craft picks like I do, that sometimes works. Okay, let's see if that worked. Perfect. All right, so nice generous blob. And this stuff goes a long way since you usually just use dots and lines of it. Okay. Take my paintbrush and basically do some, a light coat of painting. And you can go, you know, as heavy or as light as you want. But I'm mainly going to cover this whole thing with the pink glitter. So I just kind of want to even coat. Do use light strokes so that you don't end up with streaks on your dazzle. Alright, now that I'm finished painting, I'm going to clean my brush right away, just running under running water, some mild soap. Um, and I'm going to take my dazzle and very carefully peel it off. Try to do this very carefully. Um, I'm peeling it off while the stickles is wet because I don't want the stickles to have, to stick the innies to the actual dazzle. All right, placing this sticky side down on my wax paper to ensure I can peel it off later. And I'm gonna let that dry for a couple hours. Okay, so now that this has dried completely, I'm gonna peel it off this wax paper. It comes off pretty easy. turn over my mirror sheet here and place this sticky side up and I'm going to trace around the outside of it and let's see does a pencil show up pencil doesn't really show up on this so what I'm going to use is a fine tip sharpie so I want to cover the entire oval as well as the roses. So I'm going to go ahead and trace those outlines. So here's the shape I got. For the top I'm just going to sketch in the curve because that little piece was in the way. But there we go. So the at the oval line, what I'm going to do is cut just inside the oval line since I traced the outside of the shape. And since I traced the inside of the rose shapes, what I need to do is cut just outside those lines so that my piece will fit perfectly the dazzle. So there's what my finished shape looks like. Here's my dazzle sticky side up so you can see where I've made those cuts. Looks like it's lining up pretty well. Okay, so I have to turn this over to the mirror side. You'll see the reflection of my camera there. 
and I'm going to carefully line this up and place it on. Alrighty, so take a look at the back. The leaves don't need to be backed obviously because they're solid. And there is my nice reflective mirror. Now because these mirror sheets are adhesive backed, I don't need to place any glue stick on the back. Um, if There's two looks you can create with the mirror sheet. If you leave it on the backing sheet, it stays nice and flat and very smooth. And if you peel it off, let me see if I can show you an example. The paper fibers have a tiny, tiny bit of texture. So if you can see, there's a little bit of modeling of a little bit of texture. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little more texture in that than there is in this because this does have a smooth backing sheet that's like ultra smooth. There you can kind of see. Okay, so if you want to keep the smooth, shiny mirror finish, leave it on the backing sheet and simply glue this on. And if you want this kind of, um, almost like a watery look, um, but uh, it's really, really nice as well, you can remove the backing sheet. Since I want this to be nice and smooth like a mirror, I'm going to keep it on the backing sheet and place some glue stick on and glue it to my card. So what I've done here is I've just attached my little ballerina dress and that's done with foam tape. And then what I've done with the hanger is I've hooked it over this strip of the lacy border dazzle from the roses and lace scrapbooking dazzle. So that's from that pink sheet right here. And I've just placed that across the top of my card and this is hanging the dress on that um, row of dazzles. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more of the pink taffeta stickles. I'm going to print a greeting and add it here at the bottom. I'm just going to finish up my card and then I'll be right back and show you what I did. Okay so here is my finished card and I've added stickles around the bodice, around the bow in the center of the bow, and just lining each of the um, ruffles of the skirt and also I created this tag by just printing this um, greeting on a piece of the yellow paper. I just taped it to a eight and a half by eleven sheet of printer paper so that the words would land on it. And I cut this into a small rectangle, cut a little V in one end, matted it on the red paper. Um, I think this is about an eighth of an inch size mat and then I placed more stickles around the yellow shape. So it's kind of this cool mirror effect behind the dress. Left the inside blank this week um, for your own greeting. It could be birthday, it could be encouragement, friendship, um, pretty much any occasion that um, warrants hello gorgeous <laughs> for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cards tutorial and please stay tuned for today's bundle. First in today's bundle is the double-sided roses and lace scrapbooking paper pack. So there are 12 papers, so you're getting two each of six designs, and each one is double-sided, so you're really getting 12 designs. Um, and there's a picture of a scrapbook page idea, a scrapbook spread on the back, as well as a card idea, and a picture of a snapshot of all of the papers. Let's take a closer look at the papers. We've got a very gorgeous rose treatment on the corner with some lace around all of the edges in a kind of a muted green color. On the back of that is a pink kind of a diamond dot pattern. Then we have the all over rose pattern with a black, this is kind of a blackish brownish color, so it can go either or. Then we have the kind of a, a dark red 
um, tile pattern. So a lot of texture in there. On the back of that is this lovely light pink lace. Then we have another roses corner treatment here with lace just across one edge and this tiny, almost like a micro floral print. Really cute, the petite flowers in there. On the back of that is a light yellow um, tone on tone lace print. Then we have the tiny floral well, this is a, a little bit bigger than that, that micro floral. These are still small flowers, but it's it reminds me of a like a calico pattern. Very pretty. On the back of that is the lace in the red version. Then we have another tile pattern that's got uh, several different colors. It's got yellow, green, pink, and red in there. And finally, an all over green lace. And then we have the Roses and Lace Scrapbooking Dazzles. So here's the project idea on the front. Um, and it's just giving you an update. The new Scrapbooking Dazzles have two extra large sheets plus a narrow sheet. So if you're used to getting the other ones that have three equal size sheets, you're still pretty much getting the same amount of space coverage just in different sizes of sheets. And then here is the scrapbooking spread. I actually made this one. <laughs> so this is just an idea to get you started. And a card idea there. And just to show you some of the images. Got lots of butterflies, roses, and lace. Not surprisingly. And then we have some banners too. As well as lace frames. So there's beauty. Then we have this pale pink... A lace border set with um, gold edging so that's really pretty and then behind that is this sheet of extra more designs of the silver dazzles so it goes perfectly with the roses and lace papers and then we have the azalea suede paper this comes in eight and a half by eleven very flexible, very soft and velvety, and you can see it has a slight mottled texture to it just looking at it. Um, love the suede paper. And we also have the taffeta, pink taffeta stickles. This is a glitter glue type product, and you can use it to outline or accent or even rub on top of um, different elements. And last but not least, fit and flare paper dresses template. And this template includes designs to make three different skirts and you can also layer a couple of the skirts to create this multi-tier design. Um, there's accessories including a bow, collar, belt, apron, hanger, flower, wings, even a dress form that you could put it on. This is fun for not only cards but scrapbook pages as well. You could even create your own paper dolls if you wanted to. Um, so that makes this a really fun and versatile template. Alright, so that finishes this week's episode of Simply Anne. Thank you so much for sticking with me and join me again next week as I show you another fun project.